All right, so hopefully you, uh, you know, read the description of the question for this. Uh, but the way it goes is there's a 20 foot by 20 foot barn, and on you know some corner of the barn, there's a like a 30 foot leash where a cow is tethered up there. And so the question is, uh, you know, what is its total grazing area? You know, considering it can go all the way over here. And once it you know, reaches this corner of the barn, it can only go a little bit of ways over there and on that side too. So what's the total grazing area? So we're going to be using our sector area formula. Uh, so first, uh, let's find out what the, the total area that it can graze uh, based on this 30-foot radius, this 30-foot leash. So how much of an angle can it go? You know, swinging it way out here. If I drew that right, and uh, all the way out here as well. I definitely did not draw this right, but that's pretty. Hopefully, you get the idea. the The radius that he's able to go. So, the, what I want to find out first is what is this total angle that he's able to to navigate here. And you should be able to tell based on uh, you know the barn being 90 degrees here. Uh, that leash he's able to go, you know this whole sweeping angle, which is going to be, you know, 360 minus this 90 degree angle here. So it's going to be 270 degree angle that he's able to go. And uh, 270 degrees, uh, 270 degrees is the same as 3 pi over 2 in radians. Okay. So the first the first leg that he's able to sweep out, you know, just from there all the way over to here, it's going to be one half uh, r squared, which is 30. That's the length of his his rope. And then theta is going to be 3 pi over 2. All right, so that's the, the distance he's able to go around there. But whenever he gets to this section over here you know if he's you know if he stops right here that i mean he could do that but he's he's got 10 foot more of rope here so with that extra 10 foot of rope you know because the barn's only 20 foot and his rope's 30 foot with that extra 10 foot he's able to graze uh, this little little sector in this area as well 10 foot worth but it's going to be a 90 degree turn there. So he's able to do another 90 degrees <clears throat> uh, with a 10 foot radius there. And he's also able to do it on this side too. So he's got that 10 foot there and he's able to make that same 90 degree swoop on that side as well. So it's going to be plus uh, 2, because he's able to do 2 of them, of this one half r squared, in this case r is going to be 10, and the theta is that angle in radians that he's able to turn. All right, so 90 degrees uh, in radians. Yeah, 90 degrees in radians is that pi over 2. All right, I got too many parentheses here. Let me clean this up a little. Uh, let's see. We've got one half 30 squared 3 pi over 2. All right, instead of saying 2 times 1 half, uh, that's just going to be one whole. So plus, uh, then 10 squared is going to be 100. And then you've got that pi over 2. I should have went ahead and simplified this too. I'll just I'll do it in one swoop. Uh, we've got 30 squared. 30 squared is 900, and we're taking half of 900, so that's going to be 450. Okay. Then you've got that 3 pi over 2 plus. Uh, this is 100 times pi over 2. Well, the 100 and the 2 can simplify. 
So that'll just be 50, 50 pi. Uh, let's see, 450, we can go ahead and multiply the 450 times the 3 over 2. Let's do that. Uh, 450 times 3 over 2, that's 675. So this one, so 450 times 3 divided by 2 is 675 pi plus 50 pi. And because they're like terms, you can go ahead and add them. That's going to be 725 pi. And then this was in feet. So this would be 725 pi uh, be feet squared or square feet. And then if you wanted to, uh, you could go ahead and multiply out the 725 and pi. Put that there. So 725, 3.14. Uh, that's about 2,276 and a half uh, square feet. So we got quite a bit of grazing area. Yeah. Not bad. I mean, the barn itself is only, what, 400 square feet. So he's getting five times that amount there. All right.